Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to fix or clean the needles on this Keurig K155 coffee maker. So your coffee should be coming out in a nice steady stream. If it's splattering all over the place, I'm going to show you how to clean that. Or when you press the brew button, if nothing happens, it could be a clogged upper needle. Very common. And it's also a very easy fix. Okay, first thing, turn the coffee maker off and unplug it. Now, one of the, the worst things you can do is leave K-cups in here because believe it or not, leaving a K-cup in here for a day or two repeatedly is gonna clog that upper needle and it coffee grounds get up there and it just clogs it. So kind of wait for these to cool down, but take these out. Okay, so let it cool down for a little bit, but we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do the lower needle first and then the upper needle. The lower needle we can take out. Now there is a needle down here inside this basket, but we're gonna poke up from the bottom and squeeze these tabs right here. So poke up with your finger and squeeze these and this whole brew basket comes out. Now you'll be surprised how dirty this can get inside here, but we can take this apart. It splits right here. Just kind of grab it and just kind of pull it apart. And then there's the lower needle. Now get you a paper clip and go from the bottom. We're gonna take this over to the sink also. As you're cleaning this with the, with the paper clip, just run water in here and kind of run it this way. Just get it all nice and clean. Turn the paper clip. You can see it doesn't come out all the way, but you will see it right there. And then next, take a brush. So this part gets really dirty, but there's four pie-shaped areas. This is what can cause your splattering. So get those all nice and clean. Again, take this over to the sink, get this, rinse this out with a brush, get that all nice and clean. Now, when you wanna put this back together, line up these tabs, you'll find these two spots where they go and just snap it on. It's very important that this stays together. Give it kind of a turn, it's all together now. Now reinserting it, it's only gonna go one way. You've got these two tabs here, which you see here, and there's one up at the top. So you're just gonna insert it and then push down until it snaps. Okay, the upper needle is gonna be kind of challenging. It's got this like cover here that you cannot take off. So you're gonna to have to get your paper clip. You might have to put a little angle on it, but you're gonna to wanna to go up into this needle. Again, see there, I found it. And you're gonna to wanna to turn the paper clip. Now don't force this. You could damage it. It's gonna go up there quite a ways. You wanna turn it and just kind of rock it. And then try to go in the other side also. Again, just kind of turn the paper clip, rock it back and forth. And we may have to do this several times. So you, we're gonna close it, do a fresh water rinse, but we may have to do this a couple times. Again, a little hard to find. Okay, so if you think you have it cleaned, go ahead and leave the K-cup. Uh, we're not gonna put a K-cup in here. Close the lid, turn it back on. We're gonna do a fresh water rinse. So I like to select 10 ounce and press, a, press the brew button. You'll be surprised how much coffee will come out of there if you've got the needle cleaned. Now I also recommend doing these once a week. You know, if this is in heavy use, I would do this once a day. It just keeps all those needles nice and clean, make sure there's no cake up in there, and it just cleans that whole area really nice. There, my water's coming out really nice. You'll, you'll see coffee grounds floating in here. So it can, but you will never get coffee grounds in your coffee. This is just doing a fresh water rinse. Now, if that upper needle is really hard to get to, I don't recommend putting this on its side. I mean, you could, you can remove the water tank and kind of put it on its back, but it does leak a little bit water when you turn it over. Now I am gonna do a descale video. So if you're, if you're not getting the correct amount of coffee out when you press eight and it's only coming out with four, it's time to descale that. And we're gonna be descaling it next with vinegar. There's never an indication that tells you it's time to descale, but you should descale about every three to six months. If your coffee's not as hot, that means it's time to descale if it doesn't taste as good. So be sure and check out in that next video. Also underneath the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, that really helps out my YouTube channel. Again, thanks everybody for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.